Marlowe Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links right down below in the description box. So what do I have going on for you for today? Oh my word. Let me just tell you, I am filming this intro after the fact because I wasn't expecting to find all of the new finds that I found today when I was at the Dollar Tree. Tons and tons of new merchandise at my Dollar Tree. So I pulled out my phone, I decided to film a bunch of it, and I'm bringing it to you now so that way if you see something in this come with me, I guess, to Dollar Tree video that you like, you know that you can put it on your list and it's something that you should keep your eye open for at any of your local Dollar Trees. I can't wait to show you all the great new finds, my favorite new finds, so let's not waste any more time and let's get to it. Oh my word, let's get started because there are a lot of new finds to show you. Starting off with this new line by Bolero, They've got an exfoliating body wash. You're gonna get 10.6 ounces. They've got several different scents. I picked up these four. I am loving it. I've already tried it. It is amazing. They've also got this new jelly line. Would you look at all of the great items and products that come in this line? This would make for an awesome gift basket to make or even to donate to your kid's school in those raffles or those silent auctions. I love all this fun stuff. Now I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about this. I know that LA Colors and Sassy and Chic don't have the best reputation for having the best nail polish formula, but they've come out with some really cool nail polish collections. These lines are gorgeous. The colors in them are amazing. We've got this Nude Trends and this Be Mine collection with all these fun Valentine's Day colors, sprinkles, glitters. I am loving that. That just rolled out this week at my Dollar Tree. And how about this creamy jelly collection that is perfect for Easter with all these fun pastels. I'm going to give you a couple tips and tricks on how I get the most wear out of a less expensive polish. What I like to start off with on my base coat is Sally Hansen's Mega Strength Hardener. I use this often as my base coat because I DIY so much that I need to strengthen my nails. Then I apply two coats of my colored polish and this is actually the color I put on this morning. I like to use two different colors and accent one nail on each hand with a different color. These are the colors that you can expect to be seeing in some of my upcoming DIYs that I'll have on my nails. I thought that these were just such fun colors, really loving them, and I think that for a dollar, when I combine it with these other polishes, I really can buy lots of different colors because I like to change my manicure so often. Once I've got these colors applied, I do go in with Sally Hansen's gel top coat. She's got two different top coats now, which I absolutely love. She's got a gloss and a matte. It really is your preference. I just do it based on the mood that I'm in. And with the colors I'm wearing today, I went with the matte finish and I just apply one coat. For those of you who like to glue or stick some nails on, I am seeing that Dollar Tree's got these new shaped nails. These seem to be a trendy style lately. Not so much for me. I go for the natural look, but these are great designs and for a dollar you can't beat them. I also found some of these nail stickers by Crayola for Allie. These are perfect to add to her Easter basket. She loves using these. Elf is coming out with a ton of new stuff right now at the Dollar Tree. They've got these two new lipsticks, Sociable and Classy, that red and pink, and here are the numbers. These were the only two colors that I saw. Was hoping for some brown, but it didn't see any. I also found Elf's Shape and Stay Wax Pencil to help you shape your brows. I picked up one of these lip liners. I am loving this color. This goes really well with a lot of the colors that I use, and I love that there's a sharpener at the top. 
And I also picked up some of the e.l.f. eyeliner in brown and black. Another cool e.l.f. product, this highlighting pearl paint in the color of Pink Lady. Let me just tell you, this here is Jeffree Star approved. And lastly, along the makeup line, found this stipple brush by e.l.f. This is a new product. Here is the number. Not sure what it's used for, but I picked one up anyway. It looks like LA Colors is coming out with some new products as well. They've come out with this new setting spray that is the perfect size for your purse. And they've also always had this white lash glue, but I'm now seeing that they've got the black. And I saw this new pro tool by My Beauty Spot. It's called a J Roller. It's supposed to help with blood circulation, the elasticity of your skin, and it's supposed to help even out your skin tone. Not sure if it works, but it's the first time I've seen it at my Dollar Tree. I'm also seeing some new charcoal face cleansing products. We've got the wipes, we've got this facial cleanser and this acne scrub. A lot of people seem to think that charcoal really helps clean out your pores and so it seems to be a new trend. Kayla likes it. In the electronics department, I found these adorable microfiber screen cleaners. How stinking cute are these? I thought these would be fun to add to Easter baskets for iPads. Electronic-wise, I know these earbuds are nothing new, but I still picked up two of them in white. But this phone stand I have never seen before would be perfect for my phone on my desk when I'm working. And I am loving this earbuds case. This is perfect to store your headphones in, in your purse. In the garden section, I found some adorable wind chimes. I picked up two of these bees that I will be using for embellishments and upcoming DIYs for the bee and the bell picked up a couple of these flowers. Stuff like this can easily be painted to suit your decor, so don't let that detour you from getting them. These butterflies are amazing. And wait for it, I found the windmills in two different colors. I am loving these. I picked up three of each color. I will be using these in an upcoming DIY here pretty soon. Now this here I think is another really cool find. These ceramic houses, they're very simple. This one says home sweet home. They're meant for you to put, I guess, a tea light candle in. It's got a hole at the top, so if you light a real candle, it's not gonna get overly hot. I think the LED ones would probably work better, but how cool would this be if you made a village out of these and each of the houses were lit up? I love that idea. This is a little off the subject, but I found these enormous six jumbo buttons. I love the size of these, so I picked them up because they can easily be painted. This here is another one of my absolute favorite finds, this veggie storage bin. I love these. I picked up three of them because I buy blueberries, blackberries, raspberries year round. And I think that this is such a cool way to store them. Typically, I just keep them in the plastic container that they come in from the store. But I love this and I'm hoping this will help to keep them a bit fresher longer. I also picked up a couple of these Sure Fresh containers. I really like these because the lid snaps down and Allie likes to take Greek yogurt, granola, and fruit to school. And a lot of times with some of the containers that I bought from the Dollar Tree, it ends up popping open in her lunch pail and making a mess. And so I think that we'll be safe with these. Another item that I only buy at the Dollar Tree are these Scrub Buddy Wet Sweeper Cloth Refills. 20 come in a pack. It's a lemon scent. But what I don't like about these is the way it seals after each use. Nine times out of 10, my cloths end up drying out. So I picked up this Sure Fresh container. I think that these refills are gonna fit perfectly in this container and it's gonna save them from drying out too quick. I thought this here was another fun find, these silicone brush cleaners. They've got a suction cup on the back and these are so you can easily clean your makeup brushes. How stinking cute are these? I love the watermelon. I also found these luggage tags. These are really fun. This unicorn is super cute. This watermelon, I loved the avocado at the bottom and I found it in a rainbow one as well. Allie found these pizza erasers. They came in a six pack. How fun are these? I don't think I'd wanna use them. They're so cute. We've got an LED self portrait light that attaches to your phone and this mini tape set. This is a dispenser for washi tape. I've never seen that. 
This looks like something Allie would really love. These magic fun face tattoos, 12 glitter tattoos come in this pack. These are easy to remove. Just use some baby oil to remove them. These are really fun. I think I'm gonna add these to her Easter basket. I'm seeing some new letter stickers by Jot. I found them in several different colors and styles. Only one font, but these are really great to use in DIYs and alternative to the Cricut. And how about these fun berry stickers with the little farm animals? Loving these. I thought that these would be fun for Allie's sticker book. And we've got some stickers that are really great for planners to help keep you organized. This kind of reminds me of the hot cocoa and cream. Super cute. And this set here, as it wouldn't be used for your planner, I love sets like this because they work really great as embellishments when I do some of my paper crafting DIYs. You get so many stickers in this pack for a dollar and it's perfect for paper crafting. I found a new stationery set that I hadn't yet seen. This would be really great for a college student, teenager. We've got the magnetic notepad. We've got the clipboard this notepad with pen, which is one of my favorites to keep in my purse. And one of my absolute favorites is these note cards with envelopes, eight come in a pack. Now this is a funky, weird new find, but I thought it was kind of cool. Jot's come out with this fragile shipping label stickers that you could put on your mail. If you're mailing a gift or around the holidays, that is a really cool find, I thought. Now these here are another item that I've never seen at the Dollar Tree hot tea this whole new line of hot tea looks so amazing it does say that it's herbal infused but you've got peppermint chamomile vanilla chai and apple and cranberry amazing flavors and i feel like for those of us who are on a budget to pay a dollar for 20 tea bags versus three or four is a great money saving option I told you I found some really great new items and products at the Dollar Tree that I'm pretty excited about. Can I say that I got a lot of inspiration for some upcoming DIYs? I can't this trip. But that's not to say that next week when they have more new merchandise coming out that they're not going to have something that I'm going to see that's going to inspire me. But I tell you, my favorite, favorite item has probably got to be those fruit bins. I absolutely love those. I have always been one, like I said, to just leave my fruit in the plastic container it came in. I would rinse it out in that because there's holes and it can strain out the water. And then I just kind of leave it in there. But I'm thinking now that these are really going to help keep my fruit a bit fresher for a bit longer. I hope you all enjoyed today seeing all of the new finds that I found. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, I know I sound like a broken record, but I can't help it. Each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you leave down below, they do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy everything on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.